English Speaking Course. Hello everyone! Welcome to English Speaking Course. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations. Each conversation will give you some lessons to improve your listening and speaking skills. Remember, you can watch the video many times to practice your English. Now, let's get started. Do you know the condition I am in? Hi, is everything okay? Honestly, I don't know where to begin. Do you know the condition I am in? No, I'm not sure. Can you please explain? Well, I've been dealing with a lot of stress at work, and it's taking a toll on my mental and physical health. That sounds really bad. The workload is overwhelming, and I feel like I'm constantly drowning in deadlines. I had no idea you were going through all this. Is there anything I can do to help? Just having someone to talk to and lend an ear would mean a lot. Of course, I'm here for you. Thanks, Alice. Let's grab a coffee and talk more about it. You don't have to face this alone. I have no choice. Have you decided on whether to take the job offer or not? It's a difficult decision. The new job has better pay, but it's in a different city. That does sound like a tough choice to me. Yeah, I love my current job and the people here, but financially, I need to consider the higher salary. What about your family and friends here? I know, that's what's making it so hard. But with the rising expenses, I have no choice but to think about the practical aspects. It's understandable. Just remember to weigh out all the pros and cons before making a final decision. I will. Thanks for understanding. Sometimes, life forces us into these situations where we feel like we have no choice. My daughter knows how to read now. How's your daughter doing? Is she still enjoying school? She's doing great. Thanks for asking. And yes, she's really thriving in school. That's wonderful to hear. What's her favorite subject? She absolutely loves English. In fact, she surprised us the other day. How so? My daughter knows how to read now. It's amazing to see her progress. That's a big milestone. How did she learn so quickly? Her teacher has been incredibly supportive, and she's been practicing a lot at home, too. You must be really proud of her. Absolutely. I couldn't be happier. Watching her learn and grow is such a rewarding experience. She is our manager. Have you met the new employee yet? Yes, I have. She seems quite impressive. Really? What makes you say that? Well, she has excellent communication skills and a strong work ethic. That's great to hear. Is she part of our team? No, actually, she is our manager. Oh, I see. So, she will be leading us from now on? Yes, that's correct. She has a lot of experience, and I believe she will guide us toward success. I'm glad to have such a capable manager. I'm looking forward to working with her. She had nothing to report. How did the project meeting with Sarah go? It was quite brief, actually. She had nothing to report. Really? I thought there were some important updates due. That's what I thought, too. But it seems like everything is on track for now. Did she mention any potential issues or concerns? No. She said everything was running smoothly. 
and there were no obstacles at the moment. Well, that's a relief, I suppose. It's good to know that things are going well. Yeah. Hopefully this positive trend continues until the project's completion. We'll keep an eye on things, just in case. I wish you well. Hey, I heard you're leaving the company. Is that true? Yes, it's true. I've decided to move on to a new opportunity. That's great. I'm happy for you. But I'll definitely miss having you around. Thanks. I'll miss everyone here, too. It's been a wonderful experience. Where are you heading next? I'll be joining a startup in a similar field. Exciting times are ahead. Well, I wish you all the best in your new adventure. You'll do amazing things, I'm sure. Thank you so much. Your support means a lot to me. Keep in touch, okay? And remember, if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Absolutely, I appreciate that. I wish you well, too, and I'll definitely keep in touch. She needs medical assistance. Have you talked to Anna lately? She looked really unwell yesterday. I did check up on her. She's been feeling worse, but she's hesitant to see a doctor. Maybe she just needs some rest? No, it's more serious than that. She's experiencing persistent pain and discomfort. That doesn't sound good. I'm really concerned about her. We should convince her to seek medical help. I agree. She needs medical assistance. Maybe we could offer to accompany her to the doctor's appointment. That's a good idea. Let's reach out to her again and let her know we're here for her. Absolutely. Her well-being comes first. We'll do our best to help her through this. I'll take her to the nearest hospital. Oh no, what happened to Sarah? She looks really pale and weak. I'm not sure, but she fainted suddenly. We need to help her immediately. Don't worry, I'll take her to the nearest hospital. We can't waste any time. Please be careful while carrying her. We need to make sure she gets the medical attention she needs. Of course, I'll be gentle. Can you call ahead and inform her parents about the situation? They need to know. Absolutely, I'll make the call right away. We'll do everything we can to ensure her well-being. Please close the door. Hey, could you do me a favor? Sure, what do you need? Could you please close the door? It's getting a bit chilly in here. Of course, no problem. Just give me a second. There you go. All closed. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's important to keep the cold air out. Nothing at all. Let's keep the warmth in and the cold out. Oh, and also, could you pass me the book on the coffee table? Sure thing. Here you go. Perfect. Thanks a bunch. You're a lifesaver. Anytime. Just let me know if you need anything else. It's much cozier now. There are a thousand reasons to do it. Hey Andy, what's on your mind? I'm a bit hesitant about taking the new job offer. It seems like a big step. I understand your concerns, but remember, there are a thousand reasons to do it. It feels like such a risk, and I'm comfortable where I am now. I get that, but growth often comes from stepping out of our comfort zones. 
Think about all the new skills you'll learn and the opportunities it could open up. True, but what if I'm not ready for the challenges it brings? You won't know until you try. Embrace the chance to learn and grow. Remember, every successful journey starts with a single step. You're right. I've always admired those who take bold steps in their careers. Maybe it's time for me to take one, too. That's the spirit. Believe in yourself, and you'll find your own reasons for making this move. You've got this. All right, you're convincing me. It really is worth a try. Exactly. Good luck. Thanks, Julia. Taking a risk can be rewarding. Hey, have you ever thought about taking a risk? Well, it depends. What kind of risk are you talking about? I mean, stepping out of our comfort zones and trying something new. Taking a risk can be rewarding. Hmm, I'm not sure. Risks often come with uncertainties and potential failures. True, but they also offer opportunities for growth and success. Remember when we started that small project together? It was risky, but it turned out to be one of our greatest achievements. That's a fair point. I guess taking calculated risks can lead to unexpected outcomes and personal development. So, what do you say? Shall we embrace the unknown and see where it takes us? All right, let's give it a shot. What is your current address? Hey, I realized I don't have your current address. What is your current address? My current address is 123 Elm Street, apartment 4B. Have you moved recently? Yeah, I moved about two months ago. It's a nice place, closer to my workplace. That's convenient. And speaking of addresses, has yours changed recently? Actually, yes. I moved to a new neighborhood last week. It's 456 Oak Avenue. Got it. Thanks for letting me know. New addresses can be a bit tricky to keep track of sometimes. Absolutely but it's important for staying connected. The future is full of hope. Hey there, how's everything going? Honestly, I've been feeling a bit down lately. The world seems so uncertain right now. I understand what you mean, but remember, the future is full of hope. We may face challenges, but we also have endless possibilities ahead. It's just hard to see beyond the current chaos sometimes. I completely get that. But if we focus on the negatives, we might miss out on opportunities for growth and positive change. I guess it's important to focus on finding solutions and being open to new ideas. Absolutely. Together, we can shape the future we want. Keep working towards making a difference in our own lives and the world around us. You're right. The future is full of hope. That is the wrong answer. Do you want to play a game? Which game? Answer the question. Okay, go ahead. Do you know the capital of France? Sure, it's Berlin. Actually, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Paris. What's the largest mammal in the world? Hmm, I think it's an elephant. Not quite. That is the wrong answer. The largest mammal is actually the blue whale. Okay, next one. 
Can you tell me who painted the Mona Lisa? Oh, that's easy. It's Van Gogh. Nope, that is the wrong answer. The artist of the Mona Lisa is Leonardo da Vinci. Fine, I'm not good at this game at all. I don't want to play anymore. Do you know the answer? Hey, did you hear about the quiz we have tomorrow? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. Hey, Tom, look at question three. Do you know the answer? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. I remember reading something about it, but I can't recall the exact details. Have you tried looking it up in your notes? I did, but couldn't find anything specific. Maybe we should ask the teacher for some clarification. That's a good idea. Do you want me to email the teacher? Sure, that would be great. Hopefully, we'll have a clearer picture before tomorrow's test. I can clean up by myself. Hey, I noticed there's a lot of clutter in your room. Do you need help cleaning up? Thanks for offering, Mom, but I can clean up by myself. Are you sure? It looks like quite a task. Yeah, I've been meaning to organize things for a while now. But I really appreciate your willingness to help. All right, just let me know if you change your mind. I'm here to lend a hand. Will do. Thanks for understanding. No problem at all. I'll be in the kitchen if you need anything. Thanks, Mom. I'll call you if I need an extra pair of hands. My favorite sport is soccer. Hey! Do you have any favorite sports? Absolutely. My favorite sport is soccer. Oh, cool. What do you like about soccer? I love the energy of the game and how it brings people from all around the world together. That's true. Do you play soccer yourself? Yeah, I play at a local league. It's a great way to stay active and connect with others who share the same passion. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm more into basketball, but soccer definitely has its charm. Basketball is great, too. Absolutely. Both soccer and basketball have their unique thrills. Let's take a 15-minute rest. We've been hiking for hours. I could use a break. I agree. My legs are getting tired. Let's take a 15-minute rest. Sounds like a plan. This spot looks perfect with the shade and the nice view. Definitely. And there's a nice breeze, too. It's refreshing. I brought some snacks and water. Want to share? Sure, that would be great. Thanks. It's so peaceful here. I needed this break to recharge. Me too. Nature has a way of calming the mind. All right, time to get back on the trail? Yeah, let's do it. We're almost at the summit. Okay, let's go. A used car can be a good deal. I've been thinking about getting a new car, but the prices are so high. Have you considered buying a used car? A used car can be a good deal and save you a lot of money. Really? I've always been hesitant about used cars. I worry about their condition. I understand your concern, but if you do your research and buy from a reputable dealer, you can find a well-maintained used car that's reliable and affordable. That's true. I guess I should look into it more. 
A used car can give you great value if you approach it wisely. Thanks for the advice. I'll start looking into used cars then. Your performance can be affected by your sleep. I've been feeling so tired lately, and I can't seem to concentrate at work. Have you been getting enough sleep? Not really. I've been staying up late to do things. You know, your performance can be affected by your sleep. Lack of sleep can lead to decreased focus and productivity. I guess you're right, but there's just so much to do at night. It's important to find a balance. Maybe limit your TV time before bed and prioritize getting a good night's sleep. I'll try to make some changes and see if it helps with my energy and focus. Your body and mind will thank you for it. Thanks for the advice. I'll start tonight and aim for a better sleep routine. I don't want to fight with you. Linda, listen. I don't want to fight with you. It feels like we've been arguing a lot lately. And it's taking a toll on our relationship. I understand how you feel. I don't want to fight either. It's exhausting and doesn't solve anything. Maybe we should take a step back and try to understand each other. We need to communicate openly and respectfully. You're right. Let's focus on listening to each other rather than trying to prove who's right or wrong. Yeah. We can find common ground and work through our differences together. That's a great approach. We should prioritize finding solutions instead of winning arguments. Absolutely. We can overcome these challenges and grow stronger as a couple. Let's finish this quickly. We've got a lot to do today. Where should we start? How about we begin with the emails? They're piling up. Good idea. Let's finish this quickly. Definitely. Once that's done, we can move on to the budget report. Right. The sooner we finish, the better. We'll stay focused and get through everything swiftly. And don't forget the meeting prep for tomorrow. Of course, let's work together and get things done fast. I'm on board. Quick and efficient is the goal. Perfect. Once we're done, we can relax a bit. Definitely. So, let's stop chatting and start doing. Let's finish this quickly. My goal is to speak English fluently. How's your language learning coming along? I'm making progress. My goal is to speak English fluently. That's a great goal. How are you working towards it? I've been watching English movies and practicing with language apps. Those are good methods. Have you tried speaking with native speakers? Not yet, but I'm planning to join conversation groups. That's a smart idea. What about you? Any language goals? I want to improve my Spanish before my vacation. I've been taking classes. Awesome. We can both support each other in reaching our language goals. Definitely. Let's keep practicing and encouraging each other. I go to bed around 10 p.m. What's your daily routine like? Well, I usually wake up around 6.30 a.m. That's early. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed around 10 p.m. That's a good amount of sleep. Do you have any bedtime rituals? Yeah, I like to read for a bit before turning in. Reading can be relaxing. How do you feel in the morning? 
I feel pretty refreshed most days. I tend to stay up later and struggle in the mornings. It took a while to adjust, but now I'm used to it. Maybe I should give your schedule a try. It sounds healthier. It's worth a shot. Finding a routine that suits you makes a difference. Let's make a plan. Let's make a plan. What do you suggest we do this weekend? Well, how about going to the park? We can have a picnic and play some games. That sounds nice, but what if it rains? Hmm, we can visit a museum instead. They usually have interesting exhibits. I like that idea too. What time should we meet? Let's meet at 10 o'clock in the morning. That way, we'll have enough time to explore. Perfect. Should we bring anything with us? Yes. Let's bring some snacks for our picnic. And maybe a camera to capture the memories. Great. I'm looking forward to our day together. Me too. It's going to be a fun and memorable outing. The hospital needs people to give blood. Have you ever donated blood before? No, I haven't, but I've always wanted to help others. The hospital needs people to give blood. How can I donate? It's quite simple. You just need to visit the blood bank at the hospital and fill out a form. They will check your health and take a small sample of your blood. Does it hurt? It's usually not painful. That's good to know. Where can I get more information? They'll have more information on their website. I'll definitely look into it. I want to contribute and make a difference. That's amazing. Your donation will save lives and be greatly appreciated by those in need. I love walking in nature. I love walking in nature. It's so peaceful and refreshing. Do you enjoy it too? Absolutely. There's something magical about being surrounded by trees, flowers, and fresh air. Where do you usually go for walks? I have a nearby park with beautiful trails. That sounds lovely. I often visit a nearby beach. Oh. I can imagine the calming sound of waves. Nature has a way of soothing our souls, doesn't it? It truly does. I also find that walking in nature helps me clear my mind and reduce stress. I couldn't agree more. Let's make it a point to explore more natural spots together. That sounds wonderful. Count me in. My favorite color is blue. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. What about you? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. I find it so calming and soothing. Blue is pretty too, though. Yes, blue reminds me of the ocean and clear skies. Why do you like green? Green reminds me of nature and all the beautiful plants. It feels refreshing and alive. That's great. Do you have any green-themed items or clothes? Definitely. I love wearing green shirts and decorating my room with plants. That sounds lovely. Colors can really influence our moods and emotions. Absolutely. I'm going to buy some bread. Honey!
Do we have any bread left for sandwiches? No, we're out of bread. All right, I'm going to buy some bread. Great, we really need some for lunch. Is there anything else you want me to grab? Maybe some milk if we're running low. Sure thing. I'll be back in a bit with the bread and milk. Perfect. That should cover our essentials for now. Anything else on the list while I'm there? No, just bread and milk. Okay. Call me if anything else comes to your mind. I feel fine. Hey, how have you been feeling lately? I feel fine, thanks for asking. You look a bit tired, though. Yeah, I didn't sleep well last night. Is there anything bothering you? Just some stress from my family problems, but nothing major. If you have a need to talk or there's anything I can do, please let me know. I appreciate that. I think some rest will help me feel better. Absolutely. Taking care of yourself is important. Remember to unwind. Thanks for understanding. I'll try to relax and get some rest. Take it easy, and I hope you start feeling better soon. I have to clean the floor today. Hi, Bob. What are you up to? Oh, I have to clean the floor today. Why? Yesterday, I was making spaghetti and meatballs, and I spilled the sauce all over the floor. Oh, no. Yeah, it was a disaster. That's awful. How are you going to clean it up? Well, I'll use a sponge and some soap. The sauce was too thick and sticky. That sounds like a lot of work. Yes, by the way, do you want to come over for dinner? Sure, what are you making? Spaghetti and meatballs. What? Are you kidding me? Haven't you learned your lesson? Well, this time I'll be more careful, trust me. Okay, but if you spill it again, I won't be helping you. Deal. The sun rises in the east. Hey, Lisa. I want to watch the sun rise. The sunrise? Why do you want to watch the sunrise? Because it's beautiful and it makes me feel happy. Really? How does it make you feel happy? Well, it reminds me of the start of a new day and a new adventure. That's nice. I never thought of it that way. You should try it sometime. It's amazing. Okay. Where can we watch the sunrise? Well, we can watch it from a clear view of the horizon. And which direction should we look? We should look at the east, of course. The east? Because the sun rises in the east every day. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I haven't eaten yet today. Hi, Jill. How are you today? I'm good. How about you? I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet today. What? That's crazy. I know, right? But I had a good reason. What was it? I was trying to lose some weight. And how did that go? Not so well. I ended up eating a whole cake. Tell me. Well, I was walking by a bakery. I saw this delicious chocolate cake in the window. I went inside and ate the whole cake. Well, maybe you should try something else to lose weight. Like what? Exercise and eat healthy food. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe you're right. But can we go get some pizza first? Are you serious? Yeah, that was dessert. Now I need some lunch. OMG, you're unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 
a hot potato. Hey, Anna, are you ready for the camping trip? Yes, I love camping. Me too. It's going to be awesome. We're going to hike, fish, swim, and roast marshmallows. That sounds fun. What are we going to eat? I brought some hot dogs, burgers, and potatoes. Potatoes? What are we going to do with potatoes? We'll play a game called Hot Potato. Hot Potato? Isn't it a phrase that means a difficult issue that no one wants to deal with? Correct. But it's also a game where you heat up a potato and then quickly toss it to someone else. The last person who holds the potato loses. That sounds silly, Max. No, it's fun. You'll love it. Okay, as long as I have my french fries. Easy peasy. Hot potato is ready to serve you. I've got a splitting headache. Mom, I learned a new word today. It's called onomatopoeia. Do you know what it means? No, honey, I don't. Why don't you tell me? Well, it's a word that sounds like the thing it describes. Like the sound of the bee, buzz. Or the sound when I drop something in the water, splash. Isn't that cool? That's very cool, dear. But can you please lower your voice? I've got a splitting headache. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. Do you want me to get you some medicine? No, thank you. I just need some rest. Mom, can I ask you one more thing? What is it, dear? Can you give me an example of an onomatopoeia? Hmm, how about... to cut someone some slack. Hey Luke, you haven't submitted your report. The deadline is tomorrow. I'm sorry, Amy. My dog is at the vet and I have to take care of him. Oh no, what happened to your dog? He got stung by some bees in the park. It's been a very stressful time for me and my family. Listen, Luke, I'm going to cut you some slack. You'll have three extra days for your part, okay? Yes, thank you for treating me nicely. No problem. I hope your dog gets better soon. There is an important campaign next week. Hey, Emily, are you ready for the big day? What big day? There is an important campaign next week. Don't you remember? Oh, right. What is it about again? It's about raising awareness and funds for the endangered pandas. We have to wear black and white outfits, hand out flyers, and collect donations. That sounds fun. And noble. Yeah, it's a great cause. And we get to dress up like pandas. How cute is that? Very cute, but I have a question. What is it? Do we have to eat bamboo, too? <laughs> no, Emily, that's optional. I've read some of your previous articles. Hi, I'm Leo. I'm a fan of your blog. You rock. Hi. Thanks for the compliment. I'm happy you like my blog. What's your favorite article? I've read some of your previous articles. I love the one with Taylor Swift. You interviewed her and she sang for you. How cool is that? Very cool. She was nice and funny. Awesome. I've read your other articles too. You have cool stories and opinions. Thanks. I read about things that matter to me and my readers. Yes. Can I ask you something? Sure. What is it? Can you write about me? <laughs> Maybe someday. Oh.
hook, line, and sinker. What an amazing play. I learned the plot twist at the end. Me too. It was so surprising how the guy turned out to be a con artist. True. He made her believe he was a prince in disguise. And she fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. What does that mean? It's a phrase that means to be completely deceived by something or someone. It comes from fishing, where a fish might swallow the hook, the line, and the sinker if it is too naive. Oh, I see. So the girl was like a fish who swallowed the bait. Exactly. Don't believe everything you hear, and don't fall for hook, line, and sinker. Give it a whirl. Jen, do you want to play this game? It's called Space Invaders. What is it about? You have to shoot aliens. It's fun. I'm bad at games. Just give it a whirl. You might like it. Give it a whirl. It means to try something new, like learning how to play guitar or watching a movie. Oh, so you want me to try this game? Yes. You never know until you try. Fine, I'll give it a whirl, but don't laugh at me. Ha ha ha, I won't. My parents are coming to visit next weekend. Hi, Bob. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm fine, too. Just busy with work, studying and stuff. Yeah, work has been crazy lately. By the way, do you have any plans for next weekend? Well, actually, I do. My parents are coming to visit next weekend. Oh, really? That's nice. How long are they staying? They're staying for a week. They want to see the city and spend some time with me. Great. Are you excited to see them? Of course I am. I haven't seen them in a while. I understand. I'm sure they miss you a lot. Yeah, they do. And I miss them too. You'll never believe this. Hi, Lily. How are you? Hi, Lisa. I'm good. How about you? Me too. Just busy with school and work. Same here. What are you studying now? I'm majoring in education. I find it very interesting. Really? Me too. What a coincidence. Wow, that's amazing. We have so much in common. I know, right? You'll never believe this, but I also work at the same bakery as you. No way! That's incredible! How did that happen? Well, I saw your post on social media about how much you love your job. So I decided to apply and they hired me. That's awesome! I'm so glad we work together now. Me too. We can catch up more often and share our experiences. Yes, let's do that. At the drop of a hat. Hi, Jane. How are you doing? Not so good, Alex. I just got fired from my job. Oh, no. What happened? Well, you know how my boss is very strict and demanding, right? Yeah, I've heard he's a tough cookie. He is. He expects us to work overtime every day to meet unrealistic deadlines, and he can fire anyone at the drop of a hat. At the drop of a hat? Yeah, he doesn't care about our feelings or rights. He just does whatever he wants. That's terrible. I'm glad I'm out of there, but I'm also worrying about finding a new job. Don't worry, Jean. You have many skills and talents. I'm sure you'll find something better soon. 
Thanks. There are many kinds of pollution. Hey, Jack, did you finish the homework for science class? Yeah, I did. It was about environmental issues, right? Yeah, that's right. What did you write about? I wrote about air pollution and its effects. Oh, that sounds interesting. I wrote about water pollution and how it affects marine life and ecosystems. Cool. You know, there are many kinds of pollution, not just air and water. Yeah, I know. They all have negative impacts on our planet and ourselves. Yeah, it's really sad. We should do something to reduce pollution and protect the environment. I agree. Maybe we can start by using less plastic, saving energy, recycling, and so on. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Take it a miss. Kyle, are you excited to go to the beach for summer vacation? Yes, Dad. I can't wait to swim and play in the sand. Yeah, it's been a long time since we had some fun in the sun. I'm glad we're going together. Me too, son. But do you know, Mom got mad at you for leaving your socks on the floor. I told her I could clean it up later. It's not very nice of you to make a mess in the house. So you shouldn't take it amiss when she scolds you. Yeah, I understand. I should apologize and try to be more tidy. Good boy. Sell like hotcakes. Hey, Lily, how's your new job at the bakery? It's great. I love working with fresh bread and pastries. They smell so good. I bet they do. Do you get to eat any of them? Sometimes, but not too often. They sell like hotcakes, so there's not much left at the end of the day. Ah, uh, I see. I'm happy for you. I love cakes there. Really? Did you try the newest cupcake? It is amazing. I haven't had a chance to try it. Maybe next time. Sure. Let me know when you can come. I will keep one box for you. That's awesome. You're such a good friend. Thanks, Lisa. Bone to pick. David, can you help me with the dishes? Sure, Bay. Thanks, dear. You're welcome, love. David, can I talk to you about something? Of course. What is it? Well, I have a bone to pick with you. Yeah. Why do you look so serious? Well, you know how you always leave your hair in the shower drain? Oh, yes. It may clog the drain and make the water run slowly. It also makes the shower look dirty and unhygienic. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. It does. I will clean it up right now. I don't want to upset you or make you unhappy. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. I was just thinking about giving you a call. Oh, Phoebe, my dear. How nice to see you. Come in. Come in. Hi, Grandpa. I brought you some cookies. How sweet of you. You're such a thoughtful girl. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm doing fine, too. Just enjoying my retirement and reading some books. That's good to hear. 
You look great, Grandpa. Thank you, Phoebe. You know, I was just thinking about giving you a call. Really? But why? Well, I wanted to ask you how your studies are going. Are you still majoring in psychology? Yes, I am. I find it very fascinating and rewarding. I'm glad to hear that. I'm very proud of you and your achievements. Thank you, Grandpa. I guess a thunderstorm is on its way. Mom, can we go to the park today? I'm sorry, honey. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not, Mom? It's a nice day outside. Well, not for long. Look at the sky. It's getting dark and cloudy. Oh, yeah, you're right. It looks like it's going to rain soon. Yes, and not just rain. Do you hear that? Hear what, Mom? That rumbling sound. It's thunder. Oh, wow, it is thunder. That's scary. Don't worry, honey. It's nothing to be afraid of. Yes, I guess a thunderstorm is on its way then. Yes, it seems so. Let's go inside and watch a movie instead. Okay, Mom. That sounds fun, too. Good boy. It's not rocket science. Hi, Ben. How are you doing? Hi, Chris. I'm doing okay. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks. What are you up to? I'm just studying for the test tomorrow. Oh, what test is that? It's a history test. We have to memorize all of these dates and names and events. Oh, I see. I'm having a hard time remembering everything. Well, don't worry too much. It's not rocket science. No, it's not. It's history. History is interesting and important. Yes, it is, but it's also dull sometimes. But I find history exciting and relevant. It tells us where we came from and how we got here. Well, maybe you're right. You inspire me. Hi! How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I just finished a workout session. That's great. You look fit and healthy. What kind of workouts do you do? I do yoga and Pilates. They help me relax and strengthen my body and mind. That's awesome. You inspire me. Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. You're very fit and energetic yourself. How long have you been doing yoga and Pilates? I've been doing them for about a year now. They have changed my life for the better. That's wonderful. How did you discover yoga and Pilates? I discovered them through a friend who invited me to join her class. I gave it a try and loved it. That's cool. Burn the midnight oil tonight. David, it's time for bed. You have school tomorrow. Mom, I can't go to bed yet. I have a big project due tomorrow and I haven't finished it. What? When did you start working on it? Well, I started working on it yesterday, but I got distracted by some video games and YouTube videos. David, you should have planned your time better. I know, I know. I'm sorry, Mom, but I can't help it now. I have to finish this project or I'll fail the class. How much more do you have to do? A lot. I have to write a report and make a presentation. That's a lot of work. How long do you think it will take you? I don't know. Maybe a few hours. Well, then you'll have to burn the midnight oil tonight. 
I understand. But don't let this happen again, okay? I promise. Good night, Mom. I can't go out tonight. Hey, Anne, are you ready for our movie night? Hi, Jack. I'm sorry, but I can't go out tonight. What? Why not? What happened? I'm feeling sick. I have a fever and a sore throat. I think I caught a cold. Oh, no, that's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. How do you feel? I feel awful. I can barely get out of bed. I just want to sleep and drink some tea. That's understandable. You should rest and take care of yourself. Do you need anything? Can I help you in any way? Thanks, Jack. You're very sweet, but I think I'm fine. I just need some time to recover. Okay, okay. But if you need anything, just let me know, okay? I'm here for you. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. You're a good friend. You're welcome, Anne. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks, Jack. Me too. Good night. Good night, Anne. Get well soon. It was on the house. Hey, Max. How was your day? It was great. I had a delicious meal. Oh, really? What did you have? I had a steak with mashed potatoes and salad. And guess what? Why? It was on the house. No way. How? Well, the owner of the restaurant recognized me from my blog. He said he was a fan of my writing and wanted to thank me for promoting his place. Wow, that's awesome. You're so lucky. I know, right? It was very generous of him. I left him a big tip and a positive review online. Good for you. Maybe I should start a blog, too. At the 11th hour. Hi, Tina. Did you book the flight for our trip? Hi, Sam. Yes, I did. Great. When are we leaving? We're leaving tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? That's so soon. When did you book the flight? Last night. Well, I had to search a lot and compare a lot of prices. I had to book it at the 11th hour. Why did you wait so long? You should have booked it earlier. I know, I know. But I was busy with work and family. I didn't have time to plan ahead of time. Tina, that's risky. You could have missed the flight or paid a lot more. You should have made time and booked it sooner. I know, I know. But it's okay. I found a good deal and everything worked out fine. Well, I'm glad you did, but don't do that again, okay? You should book things in advance and avoid stress. Okay, okay, I will. Thanks for your advice. You're welcome. I'm excited about our trip. Me too. It's going to be fun. I really want to go to the beach. Alex, do you want to go to the beach with me? No, I don't. I hate the beach. You do? Why? Because it's hot, dirty, salty, and windy. I hate everything about the beach. Oh, I love the beach. I really want to go to the beach. Well, I don't. Can we do something else? Like what? Like going to the movies, or bowling, or ice skating. Those are fun, but not as fun as the beach. Well, for me they are. Can we compromise? Okay, how about the movies on Saturday and the beach on Sunday? Fine, but no swimming or surfing or volleyball or sandcastles. Fine, but no complaining or whining or moaning or groaning. Deal. 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 
I'm so happy for you. Hi, Mia. I heard the news. Congratulations. Hi, Leo. Thank you. What news are you talking about? You're the new manager of the sales department. Oh, yes. That news. Thank you. I'm very excited. You should be. You deserve it. You've worked hard and done a great job. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you. You're a great coworker and friend. You're very kind. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here for you anytime. So, are you ready for the meeting? Yes, I am. Let's go. Okay, let's go. No problem. And congratulations again. What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Hi, Alex. What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Hi, Jane. I like to read, watch, play, and listen. You? Me too. What kind of things do you read and listen to? I like reading fantasy, sci-fi, action, and comedy books. I also like listening to rock and jazz. You? Same here. We have a lot in common. Any favorites you can recommend to me? Sure, I can recommend you some. Look at my playlist. Cool. Yours are perfect. Then I can recommend you some, too. Okay, let's do that. On the spot. Hi, Chris. Are you auditioning for the play? Hi, Peter. Yes, I am. Have you prepared your own monologue? Yes, I have. How do you feel? I prepared it well, but I'm nervous, though. What if they don't like us? What if they put us on the spot? Don't worry. We'll be fine. Just be ourselves and have fun. And if they put us on the spot, just improvise. That sounds hard. What if we mess up or freeze up? We won't. Trust me. We're confident and spontaneous. We can handle anything on the spot. Thanks, Peter. You're a good friend. You too, and good luck. Sell like hotcakes. Hi, Chris. How's business? Hi, Peter. It's great. I'm selling a lot of products. Really? What kind of products are you selling? I'm selling these new wireless earbuds. They're amazing. They have great sound quality, long battery life, and a sleek design. Wow, they sound awesome. How much are they? They're only nineteen ninety nine. That's a great price. Where do you get them from? I get them from this online supplier. They ship fast and also offer a money-back guarantee and a warranty. That's impressive. How many have you sold so far? I've sold over 200 in the past month. They sell like hotcakes. That's amazing. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.